Welcome to the Trend Micro Video How To's. In this video, we will show you how to configure threat investigation feature in Worry Free Business Security Services. The Endpoint Sensor, or IES, is another threat diagnostics feature that provides a means for in depth investigation on threat related incidents. It provides users an option to monitor, record, and perform current and historical threat investigations on endpoints to determine the root cause analysis across the entire environment. This feature requires special licensing. For more information, contact your Trend Micro Sales representative. To enable Endpoint Sensor, in Worry Free Business Security Services, go to the Configure Policy screen by performing one of the following. When in Classic Mode, Go to Security Agents and select a group where Endpoint Sensor is to be enabled. Click Configure Policy. When in Advanced Mode, go to Policies then Policy Management. Click Add or click an existing policy. Enable the Endpoint Sensor and click Save. The Settings Save notification appears at the top. Threat investigations use server metadata to quickly identify endpoints which are possible candidates for further analysis. The assessment option performs evaluation of the prevalence of a threat and how long the threat has been in the network. The assessment goes through all historical data. It can also determine the existence of a threat using simple criteria. Assessments support only a limited set of criteria. An assessment supports custom criteria and open IOC file. To create an assessment either through custom criteria or open IOC file, click New Assessment. Specify a name and time period for the investigation. And click the last 7 days drop down menu to adjust the table display to last 14 days or 30 days. To create an assessment using custom criteria, Make sure to select Custom Criteria as the criteria. Click the Match any of the following drop-down menu to adjust the table display to match any of the following or match all of the following. Click Add Criteria to select a criteria type either using the host information, registry information, or others. Specify valid information and click Assess. On the Assessment tab, a new investigation task appears in the first row of the assessment list. Allow some time for the investigation to run. Once the investigation is complete, under the Matched Endpoints column, click the number to check the results. To review the sequence of events leading to the execution of the matched object, select the endpoints that require further analysis and click Generate Root Cause Analysis. The Generate Root Cause Analysis screen appears. In the Name field, type in a valid information, then click Generate. Wait for the task to complete. Once the task is complete, under the Results column, click the number. From the Analysis Results screen, under the Root Cause Analysis column, click View. You can also see from the Analysis Results screen if there are tasks on queue and those which were unsuccessful. After clicking View, the Investigation Summary screen appears. You can hover your mouse on the root cause chain to highlight the matched, noteworthy and associated file objects. Click the Information icon at the bottom left part of the screen to show the legend. Click an item on the root cause chain to see more details. Go to the Profile tab to view information like Rating, PID, User, Signer, Command Line, Path, SHA1 and 2, and MD5. Go to the Related Objects tab to know the action taken by the object, the time it was logged, its rating, and the destination path. Click the Access drop-down menu to filter the actions to be displayed. Click Show Detail. This will show you more information about the related object like Source Path, SHA1 and 2, and MD5. Target Endpoint section provides endpoint information of the root cause analysis result. 
This also provides an option to isolate the endpoint. To isolate the endpoint, click the Isolate Endpoint button. A warning message will appear. Then click Isolate. The command sent notification appears at the top. To check the status of the agent being isolated, go to the Security Agents tab then select the group where the endpoint being isolated belongs. Once the task is complete, you will see the red icon beside the isolated agent. To restore connection on the endpoint, click the endpoint name on the same screen. The Isolated from Network Connection banner will appear. Click Restore Connection. Or from the Tasks drop-down menu, click Restore Connection. A warning message will appear. Click Restore. The command sent notification appears at the top. Hover your mouse on the endpoint to check the status. From the Tasks drop-down menu, Isolate Endpoint option is grayed out when Restore Connection Tasks is in progress. Going back to the Investigation Summary screen, under Criteria, click the IOC link to download the IOC file of the root cause analysis result. Go to the Object Details tab to know more about the details of the root cause analysis result. This provides the following tabs. Objects tab provides all objects in the root cause chain. Note where the Objects tab includes all the suspicious or malicious objects identified by WRS and SPN. Files tab are all the file events in the root cause chain. Registers tab on the other hand, are all the registry events in the root cause chain. Lastly, IPDNS are all IP and DNS events in the root cause chain. Each tab displays the recorded objects, PID, the time the object is recorded the associated file activity, and the object reputation. From the Objects tab, click the Filter icon on the right side of the console. From the Select Filter drop-down menu, you can filter the data being displayed based from the object information and the time period. Type the valid information on the required field and click Search. Click the file under the Recorded Object column to get all the details about the object including PID, User, Signer, Command Line, Path, SHA1, SHA2, and MD5. To create an assessment using Open IOC file, go to Threat Investigation. On the Assessment tab, click New Assessment. Specify a name and time period for the investigation. Make sure that Open IOC file is selected under Criteria. You can either upload an IOC file using the Upload IOC File button or use an existing one by clicking the Use Existing IOC File button. Using Open IOC files in preliminary investigations has the following limitations. Only one Open IOC file can be loaded at a time. The only supported condition is IS. Entries using other conditions are ignored and marked with a strike through. The only supported indicators are the indicators that are applicable to the collected metadata. Entries using unsupported indicators are ignored and marked with a strike through. Click Assess. Once IOC file is uploaded, click Assess. A new investigation task will be added in the assessment list. Allow some time for the investigation to run. Once the investigation completes, under the Matched Endpoints column, click the number to check the results. Select the Matched Endpoint and click Generate Root Cause Analysis to review the sequence of events leading to the execution of the matched criteria. The Generate Root Cause Analysis screen appears. Specify a name for the Root Cause Analysis and click Generate. Click the Root Cause Analysis tab to check the results. Allow some time for the task to complete. Once the task is complete, under the Results column, click the number. From the Analysis Results screen, under the Root Cause Analysis column, click View. The Investigation Summary screen appears. 
where you can see the investigation summary, object details, and the root cause chain which is similar as when you choose custom criteria for assessment. Thank you for choosing Trend Micro.